guys welcome back to my channel and in today's video we're going to continue with this game called beyond blue we're just going to pick off from where we left so yeah let's get into it whoa what the hell is that that's kind of creepy Damn, she's got rad tattoos. I just saw that. We watched the video log from your dive. I'm truly heartsick. I'm furious. Where should we start? The destroyed vent. I couldn't believe how badly the seabed was chewed up. Vents that might have had a fossil record dating back over a billion years. And microbial life that doesn't exist anywhere else on the planet. Who knows what cures we've lost. Your drone's a fallen hero, Andre. I think it spooked the miners before they did more damage. If you hadn't been willing to dive without a map, we would never have confirmed they were actively mining. Who gets the satisfaction of turning them in? We were debating that before you came on. Let's do it together. We should jointly report. It'll be stronger. Agreed. Agreed. Now tell us about the whale fall. Could you ID the whale? The whale fall was definitely from the baby's family. The tail fluke was intact enough to scan it. But you are sure it wasn't the mother? It wasn't the mother. The ID matched another whale we know from her family. But it was an older whale, so it could have been from natural causes. Do you think there's any connection to the miners? They did plenty of damage, but I don't think the whale fall is on them. I can pull out anything from the scan log that might be worth investigating. Already have. Can you turn these into dive objectives? Right. Catch you in a bit. All right, let's get diving. Day 14. Arena's analysis of the whale fall shows evidence of toxins from a harmful algal bloom. We have to find Andrea and her family and get bio samples. On a positive note, Andrea's side trip was a success. He found an amazing group of teens who have been nurturing the turtle population back to health. Running out of dive time, and especially if I go home early. Ready to dive. I'm in and okay. This area looks so different at night. I used to love diving in the moonlight. The pod was active in this area as recently as an hour ago. When was the last tracking data for the baby or its mother? Days ago. But they could be with the pod right now and just not making any noise. I hope the wheels are okay. I'm so sad if they are, if they are in... There you go, first waypoint. They'll load automatically from here on in. I have the Explorer drones patrolling to get as many eyes and ears looking for the pod as possible. Do I need the buoys? No, we'll use the hydrophones on the drones. They don't have the range or fidelity of the buoys, but we need speed. Thanks. Mariah, you know that no chatter rule was just for the vent area, right? I'm sorry? I think he's pointing out that you seem distracted. Sorry. I'm back. Talk to me about something positive, Andre. Were you able to make contact with the teenagers you were telling me about? They've been helping the leatherback turtle population rebound here in the region. They've developed a nest cooling technology to help the baby turtles. They've also built their own tracking drones. Teens with tech. Sounds like you've inspired some citizen scientists, Andre.
Have you decided whether or not you want another dive back at the brine pool? With everything going on, I really hadn't had the chance to look at the schedule, but I would always say yes to that. Right. I just have to like swim in something with the black. No, I'm not like that. Oh, where were the dolphins? I don't remember having dolphins in the dive objectives. I added them because of their role in the disease that hit the dolphin population a few years back. Done. Andre, have you picked up any tags from our pod? No, not yet. I'm gonna widen the radius for the Explorer drones. That's a clam, guys. Oh, whoa, why is the... My mouse was acting all the... I'm near the waypoint and can hear a humpback singing, but I don't see it. I think I'm losing it. It's gotta be close. I feel like it's singing right in my ear. Try a scan, Bison. It's totally weird. I see a scan dot, but nothing's there. I think the humpback is invisible. Sorry. I'm afraid I'm the invisible. I'm definitely losing it. I thought you just said you're an invisible whale. Well, not me. The humpback song I generated. You're at a playback station. It's pretty small on the boy line, but in the dark you probably can't see the line. Well, it must be pretty authentic. At least enough to convince your drone. Mirai, have you heard back from Ren yet? No. Is Ren okay? Mirai, are you there? I'm not sure. Pardon? I meant about Ren. I don't know. We had a fight right before I left the sub. Do you want to call her now? I can patch you through. Seriously? Here? Well, I have to watch your video feed for safety, but I can mute your audio track for privacy. Wow, I've never talked to her while I was diving. No, I'll wait for the sub. Okay, Mariah, you're on. The drone on the outer patrol just picked up several sperm whales on visual. Thanks. No sound alerts at all. They're being awfully quiet. Why is that? I think I found the pod. Yes, that is them. I don't see the baby, but it's a little dark. Why aren't they moving? They're sleeping. I had no idea. They look alien, but beautiful. If you don't mind, I'm just gonna mute my call while I get the samples. I don't think they can hear us through your visor. I think she is the one that is needing some quiet. Thanks, Serena. Catch you at the sub. Mariah out. in them.
You know my mommy, she's the ocean's doctor. The ocean is sick and she's trying to make it better. That's kind of sad, yeah. That there, you know, that there are toxins. That's kind of sad, yeah. Poor oh, animals. Hello, Mirai. It's me. I don't see a sample from either the baby or the mother. Andre said you were going back out to look for them. I know you are still deciding, but I told him you are thinking about leaving the expedition early. As soon as I have results, I'll let you know. Mirai, I think I have a location for the mother and baby. They were spotted just outside the research zone by those teenagers I was telling you about. Now, I don't have much data, but the report doesn't sound positive. I'll let Irina know as well. Hello? Were you asleep? It's the middle of the day. Why does that matter? Did you say school wasn't working out? Yeah, I'll figure it out. Listen, I'm exhausted. I'll catch you later, okay? Bren, please don't hang up. Bren? <sighs> okay. Things are not good at home, huh? I guess we gotta get diving. Same night? last dive. We're near the coastal area where Andrea and her mother were last spotted. Suit checked and rechecked. Can't risk any exposure in case the bloom hasn't completely resolved. Hard to swim after absorbing neurotoxin. Seriously. Diving now. I'm in. Mirai, are you sure you want to do this dive? I'm okay. And you're sure you want to record in our streaming format? Yes. Ready? Recording now. Tonight we're recording from the open ocean in the Western Pacific. For those of you who are returning, we're trying to get an updated status on the mother and baby sperm whale that we've been following on our stream. We're recording tonight's stream because we have reports that the mother whale is distressed. And we don't want to surprise viewers if these reports are true. After discovering a whale fall in our research zone, we suspected that the whales may have been exposed to a toxic pathogen and are currently investigating. Samples from several females in the pod tested positive for a toxin that we believe resulted from exposure to a harmful algal bloom near the coastal area just outside our research zone. I hope nothing bad happens to them. That's kind of sad. I hate when things happen to animals. I just can't. Let it be animated or even, like, I just can't go through that pain. As I approach the whales, I'm going to turn off my mic, but keep on my video feed. <gasps> no. Whales that we tested showed low level of this toxin, so we do not believe they will suffer from long-term effects. However, we expect that the mother whale was exposed to a higher level and was also more vulnerable because of her pregnancy. Did she die? My <laughs> At least the baby is healthy.
Those orcas sure look like they're threatening the baby whale. Stay close to your aunties. They know the way. As far as we know, those were the only two whales affected by the bloom. With all of Andre's technology genius, he still hasn't invented a way to be in two places at the same time. Before my flight home landed, Irina and Andre had already confirmed the location of the harmful bloom. I stayed close to home with Nana until she passed the next year. Ren moved in with me to save money while she finished school, which was great. It was Ren's idea to keep the live stream going remotely using one of Andre's drones. But it was my fabulous idea to have Ren join the stream to choose the questions from the audience. She is definitely a hit. I can't lie. It's great to be diving again. While I was away, the baby became an auntie. I think she likes it. She still buzzes me when I play my Coda sounds, so that is still a mystery. But I swear, we understand each other completely. Oh my god guys this game i mean we've completed the whole game and i have to say the end like i mean i'm i i feel so bad but i also feel so good like i didn't expect the mother whale dying to be honest i mean i thought she'd be a little sick but that was very, you know, especially for a person who does not watch, like, you know, even animated movies or cartoons that harm animals. I keep away from all of that. And to play this, it's just uh, kind of like I'm already, like, you know, a little bit teary eyed. But I guess it was a good story. They did find out what was harming the whales and they did rectify that. Like, they did like you know narrow down the problem and stuff like that all in all this game beyond blue is a beautiful game uh plus it's free i would suggest everyone to like you know at least try out 
Sorry, my dog's making a lot of noise. Yeah, so I would at least tell everyone to at least try out this game because it's very peaceful and beautiful. You get to learn a lot about the, like, you know, the deep sea, which is fabulous. Uh, so, hey, so yeah, I mean, I'm speechless. It's a beautiful game. So if you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.